back to the CPMA broadcast. Today is February 28, 2023. Next month is Women's History Month. Yep, and it's also today's first story. Here's Women's History Month with Abby. What's up, guys? Welcome back to broadcast. Today is Women History Month. You know what I'm saying? So we are going around campus interviewing people to see what they know about Women's History Month. Hi, I'm Harmony. I'm here with Eva. Okay, Eva. What does Women's History Month mean to you? Um, it uh, to me, Women's History Month means like. Like about all the struggles that women have went through through the years. Okay, thank you. And what woman are you inspired by? My mom. Hello, my name is Tommy. I'm here with Marco. Okay, Marco. What does Women History Month mean to you? Um, I feel like it means like girl power. You know, remembering all the the female leaders that we had in the past, and you know we need to give respect to all the to all the women in this world. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what I think. Uh. Women History Month means to me. Thank you. And what women are you inspired by? Mother Earth, you know what I'm saying? We live in... We Hi, live... my name is Hama and I'm here with... Franco. <laughs> okay, do you know what Women History Month means, Franco? I'm not sure. Women's History Month is a month that shows our appreciation of the impact that women had on the community. There you have it, CPMA students. Some people think about Women's History Month. Back to the studio. Thank you, Abby, with our first story of today. Our next story is actually about Webb. Aren't you in Webb? Yes, I am. Here's Webb interviews with Marco. Welcome back, guys. Today, we are going to be interviewing some web leaders. Moving schools isn't easy, but web leaders are here to help. Let's get to it. So, what's your advice for sixth graders? To focus on school, stay out of drama, and have fun. So tell me, what is it like to be a web leader? To be a web leader is basically like helping all the new students and new sixth graders come and make them feel welcomed a part of the CPMA community and basically to help them with the transition of elementary school to middle school and to help them feel like they belong and to do fun activities. Shout out to Mr. I's homeroom, my favorite group of sixth graders. Well that's it for today guys. Back to the studio. Staying warm is important with sickness spreading around. Here's David with the weekly weather. It's sunny, cloudy, and even rainy. Today is Tuesday and it's going to be rainy all day with the low of 48 and a high of 59. Wednesday will be rainy all day with low of 43 and a high of 56. Thursday will be sunny but cold with low of 43 and a high of 58. Friday will be partly cloudy with the low of 43 and a high of 58. Also Saturday and Sunday will be in the mid 40s and low 60s with a 20% chance of rain. Again, my name is David Alvarez with the CBMA Weather Report. Have a great week, CBMA. Goodbye. Thank you, David, for the weekly weather. For our last story today, more information on our sports teams. With Hector. Hey, CBMA. Today I'll be interviewing Hector about the boys' soccer team. Hector, how is the boys' soccer team going? Uh, who are you? I'm Victoria. Oh, okay, then. Uh, the boys' soccer team is going really well. We've been winning a lot of our most recent games. And you can, and they all play at high schools, and you can even find out the high school information at SDUSD, SDUSD Athletics. And I think it's a really good thing that we all have come together to play soccer. At the very beginning, we were not doing good, I'll be honest. 3-0 two times. That was horrible. But I think we've been winning so much more of our games, and we've made a massive comeback. And I think if you come to our soccer games, I will be happy, and the rest of the team will be happy. Okay, thank you. Anyways, that's it. Um, hope you go to the games and follow, go to the link. Bye. I'm Alice. And I'm Naomi. And this is the CPMA Broadcast. See you next week.